With the consent of a 13 News Now viewer, we hit the streets with beach police doing breathalyzer tests. One at the end of the night, another the next morning. And what you see may surprise you. But first, one woman's painful story about the dangers of lingering alcohol levels. I feel like someone um, stole him away from me before we were able to make a future together. Tess's fiance was killed by a drunk driver. It didn't happen in the middle of the night when most of us think DUIs occur. It happened in the morning. Michael Latimer killed at 7 a.m. on his way to work. You don't expect that to happen on someone's way to work, that they're hit by a drunk driver more than three times the legal limit at 7 a.m. Published reports show the person who hit Michael was blowing off steam at a bar on a Friday night. The next morning, Tess and Michael's lives changed forever. That was seven years ago. Where would you be if this never happened? I would be married to the love of my life. Does this still shock you? Sure does. Beat Sergeant Scott Wichtendahl has spent 26 years trying to get drunk drivers off the streets. The night isn't the only time they're finding drunk drivers. We've arrested people at you know, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. In the last two years, between 5 and 10 a.m., Hampton Roads Police have made at least 814 DUI arrests, but this figure does not include Norfolk. We were told those numbers were not available. People definitely don't think about the next morning. Clarence was busted for DUI in Chesapeake and almost got behind the wheel one morning after drinking the night before. The breathalyzer that's installed, I failed it and couldn't start my car. Are they just as dangerous the next morning as they might be that night? But uh, sure, they could even be more dangerous because their, their reflexes are still slow. They may still have some alcohol in their system. We tested that. Josh agreed to be part of our story. After his intoxicating night out, keep going, keep going, keep going. we asked him to do a breathalyzer test. It's 12.45 a.m. So there's a .188. Okay. What does that mean, Sergeant? It's a, a double the legal limit. The legal limit in Virginia is .08. You can be arrested for a .05. Would you ever consider getting up the next morning and driving? Yes. Scary. There have been times where I should have gotten up and not gone to work, and I still gone to work in knowing that I probably should have gotten pulled over. We got Josh a safe ride home. Eight hours later, at 8.45 a.m., Beach Police went to Josh's house. Hey, Josh. Still kind of uh, feeling it from last night. Go, 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 go. They tested him again. 0.029. He's still got, clearly has alcohol in the system. Would you get behind the wheel? Yes. You would? Yes. And what's your reaction to that? Not, not surprised. His BAC is going to be down to zero for another 15 hours. Bob and Kay Walsh from MAD try to educate the public with this device called the Intoxiclock. It takes your body type and your drinks and calculates how long it takes for alcohol to completely leave your system. Almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon before his BAC just on his three Long Island iced teas is down to zero. Wow. Okay. They see it and then all of a sudden it's just eye-opening for them. Their daughter Robin was also killed by a drunk driver. They work, hoping no other family gets that phone call night or day like Tess did. Even though this is hard for me and it's painful to relive it, <laughs> um, if I can make a difference in one person, then it's worth it. I think it's worth it. To see how that intoxiclock works, head to WVEC.com. We have a lot more information there on how long it takes for alcohol to completely leave your system. LaSalle Blanks, 13 News Now.